John VI Cantacuzanos or Cantacuinus was the Byzantine emperor from 1347 to 1354. Early life Born in Constantinople, John Cantacuzanos was the son of Michael Cantacuzanos. Governor of the Moria, Donald Nichol speculates that he may have been born after his father's death and raised as an only child. Through his mother Theodora Paleologina Angelina, he was a descendant of the reigning house of Paleologos. He was also related to the imperial dynasty through his wife Irene Asanina, a second cousin of Emperor Andronikos III Paleologos. Cantacuzanos became a close friend to Andronikos III and was one of his principal supporters in Andronikos' struggle against his grandfather, Andronikos II Paleologos. On the accession of Andronikos III in 1328, he was entrusted with the supreme administration of affairs. On the death of the emperor in 1341, John Cantacuzanos was left as the designated regent and guardian of John's son John V Paleologos, who was nine years old. John had no imperial ambitions of his own and refused to be crowned co-emperor, despite being offered the opportunity by Andronikos III Paleologos several times. After the death of the emperor, John again refused to take the throne and insisted that the rightful heir was John V, and that he would assume administrative control of the empire until he was of age. Despite his stalwart devotion to the young emperor and his mother, the Empress Anna of Savoy, his friendship with the late emperor had aroused both the jealousy of the Patriarch of Constantinople and his former protege Alexios Apokalkos and the paranoia of the empress who suspected him to be a usurper. When John Cantacuzanos left Constantinople for the Moria, his enemies seized the opportunity to declare John V emperor and ordered the disbandment of Cantacuzanos's army. When news reached the army at Gidimo Tycone in Thrace, they declared Cantacuzanos emperor, marking the start of the civil war between Cantacuzanos and the regency in Constantinople. The ensuing civil war lasted six years, during which the rival parties called in the aid of the Serbians, Bulgarians, and the Ottoman Turks and engaged mercenaries of every description. It was only by the aid of the Ottoman Turks with whom he made a bargain, that Cantacuzanos brought the war to a favorable end. He received sanctuary and was allied with Serbian Stefan Dusan, Rain. In 1347, Cantacuzanos entered Constantinople in triumph with an army of 1,000 men and forced his opponents into an arrangement by which he became joint emperor with John V Paleologos and sole administrator during the minority of his colleague. His triumph in the Six-Year Civil War is the subject of the poem John Cantacuzanos Triumphs by the modern Greek poet Constantine Cavafy. He made his own son Matthew Cantacuzanos a co-emperor in 1353. During this period, the empire, already broken up and reduced to narrow limits, was assailed on every side. There was an unsuccessful war with the Genosa, and in particular their colony at Galata, across the Golden Horn from Constantinople. His later involvement in the Venetian Genosa War of 1350-1355 also brought no concrete results, and was terminated by a treaty with Jena in May 1352. War also erupted against the Serbians, who were at that time establishing an extensive empire on the northwestern frontiers. A hazardous alliance was formed with the Ottoman Turks, who made their first permanent settlement in Europe at Gallipoli in Thrace. Towards the end of his reign, in 1349, he sent a newly built fleet of nine fair-sized ships and about 100 smaller ones against the Genosa, but it was captured in its entirety. Then in 1351, he sent 12 ships to help Venus against Genoa, but the fleet was defeated. Cantacuzanos was far too ready to invoke the aid of foreigners in his European quarrels. 
Since he had no money to pay them, this gave them a ready pretext for seizing upon a European town. The financial burdens imposed by him had long been displeasing to his subjects, and a strong party had always favoured John V Paleologos. Hence, when the latter entered Constantinople at the end of 1354, his success was easy. Retirement as a monk Kantako Usinos retired to a monastery, where he assumed the name of Joas of Christa du Loss and occupied himself with literary labours. In 1367 Joasif was appointed the representative of the Eastern Orthodox Church to negotiate with the Latin Patriarch of Constantinople Paul II, attempt a reconciliation of the Eastern Orthodox and Roman Catholic Churches. They agreed to call a grand ecumenical council to be attended by the Pope and all the patriarchs and bishops and archbishops of both the Eastern and Western Churches. This plan was subsequently refused by Pope Urban V and so nothing came of it. Kantako Uzanos died in the Peloponnese and was buried by his sons at Mystra in Laconia. Writings His history in four books deals with the years 1320-1356. An apologia for his own actions, it needs to be read with caution. Fortunately it can be supplemented and corrected by the work of a contemporary. Nike for us Gregoras. It possesses the merit of being well arranged and homogeneous, the incidents being grouped around the chief actor in the person of the author, but the information is defective on matters with which he is not directly concerned. Kantako Uzanos also wrote a defense of Hesychasm, a Greek mystical doctrine. Family by his wife Irina Sanino, a daughter of Andronikos Asin, John VI Kantako Uzanos had several children, including Matthew Kantako Uzanos, co-emperor 1353-1357, later despot of the Moria, Manuel Kantako Uzanos, despot of the Moria, Andronikos Kantako Uzanos, Maria Kantako Uzan, who married Nikephorus II or Sini of Epirus. Theodora Kantako Uzan, who married Sultan Orhan of the Ottoman Empire. Helena Kantako Uzan, who married John V Paleologos.